Hi, I'm The Woodpecker today. I'm going to show you how I control my dust filter system. With such a fantastic dust filtering system, I also need a fantastic controller. A normal person would just plug it into the wall. Another would add a wall switch. A fancier person would also use a simple remote. <laughs> but you know me, I'm not normal. I build my own controller. So for the rest of this episode, I'm going to give you a small taste of it. Electronics projects, like woodworking, begin with nice plans. So here it is, the plan for my controller. With it, I build a prototype. Haven't I said prototype? But because of this, I was able to design the actual PCB and add several boards made. Then I solder all the components. And here they are, old controllers. Don't you think they look better than my prototypes? The key part of this is the 10 amps relay. But don't worry, each motor only draws just a little bit more than 5 amps. I'm far from the limit. On my circuits, I can add an RF receiver. And with this remote, I can start and stop the filtration. This adjustment can set the duration between 5 to 127 minutes. And each button is a multiplier of this value. One time, two times, Three times, enough. But I wanted more, so I added a Bluetooth receiver. And now, with a terminal program, I can access the controller. Here, you can see me turn the relay on and off. This LED indicates the relay is on. And now, with this communication, I can have some informations on the system, like the value of the time adjustment. But not just that, I have a full page of things that I can access. We'll see that soon. Ah, starting and stopping the filtration is not that impressive. So I add a clock module. With this module, I can have the time. But its true usefulness, it's its ability to start the filtration at a specific time each day. I can change the start time and the duration of the filtering. So I know that even if I'm not there, the air in the shop is still clean. But this is not enough. I also add a dust sensor. Okay, this is quite ugly, but it's working great. Here's a little demonstration with a match. We can see that the air quality changes because of the smoke. But smoke is not dust. So I add a small fan to move it around. And yes, the speed is controlled by my controller. I know, this seems like science fiction, but here's a demonstration with my drum senders. I put it directly under the sensor and make some dust. Okay, nobody in its right mind would do something like that, but still, you can see the filtration starts by itself after 10 over the limit readings. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Alain, this is fine, but you have two filters. And this is the reason why I solder two controllers. On my main controller, I add another Bluetooth module and one on the second controller also. And now I can control two modules at the same time. I like the dust-like interface, but I also programmed a window-based graphical interface. This is very convenient, but I won't keep my computer in my shop. I could use a nice small laptop, but she wouldn't be happy about it. So I use MIT App Inventor and program an Android app that controls the filtration system. 
This is more convenient in the shop and I also have the possibilities to change all the settings with it. I also thought of designing the boards to the standard size of an easy to find box. A closed box will keep the dust away from the electronics. But now I have a lot of leftover PCBs. So if you're interested in building your own dust controller, contact me. I know electronics can be boring. That's the reason why I just gave a quick recap of the construction and features of my controllers. But if many of you are interested in knowing more, I can make a more detailed episode about it. But don't worry, I'll still have more woodworking stuff and you'll be able to see them on the woodpecker. Woodworking.